Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well. We are doing great, but the house feels a bit empty after parents left back to Kerala. You might have seen it in my previous video. They and we have got back to our usual routines, but somewhere it's not on the right track. I guess it might take a few more days. And yes, I have a lot to organize in our new apartment, so I need to get back soon. It's not like earlier when we shifted once, but anyways, it will take a bit of time to know the apartment, get used to it and know the right place for the right thing. I will do videos as I arrange each part of this apartment. Now this video is a very simple short one taken on a weekday. I anyway was cooking for my family so thought to share the recipe here. It's been a long time since I prepared waffles for kids stiffen. It's not something my husband or I guess parents would have enjoyed if I had made it as a breakfast meal. And on this day there was some leftover dinner food in the fridge. Me and my husband would be having that. So made waffles in a small quantity for kids for their school. It's almost a cake batter. I blend milk, eggs, banana, a pinch of salt and all-purpose flour. I normally take wheat flour for this but Rihan had been insisting on using all-purpose flour once in a while for a change of taste. Air the flour is tastier. I spray some butter on the waffle maker and cook. I always wanted an iron waffle maker which I had added to my Amazon cart last vacation but ended up forgetting to buy it. More than a non-stick waffle maker, an iron one will enhance the taste. I feel we get a more crispier waffle from that. I wasn't in the mood to take the whole day's video and I realized I haven't done a complete day video too anytime recently. I'll try doing it soon. For dinner, I cooked creamy pasta. If you have noticed, my stove has changed. The other apartment had an inbuilt stove there, so we had to buy one for this flat. Heat a pan and heat some oil and butter. The reason I'm adding oil is so that the butter doesn't burn. Saute ginger, garlic and green chilies that are chopped. Let it turn golden brown color and then goes in the onion. Saute till soft. You may add any vegetables of your choice. I first added the long beans that were chopped. Saute for a few minutes. That's the water kept for boiling for the pasta and in goes some salt. Then added cabbage and enough broccoli. Here I have used small size pasta, you may go for your choice.
in goes some spring onion leaves and coriander leaves. Now to season, I added some paprika, cumin powder and some red chilli flakes. You may also add some dried herbs like basil and oregano. I just skip those this time. So that the vegetables doesn't burn, I added some water from the pot. You can go for plain hot water too. Now as this is a creamy pasta, I added some thick cream to the vegetables. Some salt and mix well. Some more water to make it a bit more wet. And this is done. Keep that aside. The pasta is cooked. Drain the water. I transfer to the same pot it was cooking, drizzle some oil and mix well so that it doesn't stick to each other. Now for the bashmal sauce, heat some oil and melt some butter along. Then add flour and mix well. Let this cook for a minute. Now goes in milk. Some salt. Here I added two triangles of cheese too. You may skip or add more or less. Mix well and keep stirring so that it doesn't burn at the bottom. Let this mixture become thick consistency. And this is done now. Now first I thought to bake this in my gas oven but then wanted to show an ovenless version so that all could make it. I drizzled some oil at the bottom of a heavy vessel, spread a little bit of the vegetables Then goes in the pasta or the macaroni. Then goes again the vegetables. Spread some of the bashmal sauce. Add some grated mozzarella cheese and now repeat. Cover the pot and now turn on the flame to high for a minute. Then reduce the flame to very low and cook for 5 to 10 minutes. You can see the steam coming through and then you can turn off the flame. Give a mix and that's a creamy pasta. 
that my family truly enjoyed. Later that night, we got these from a family who recently came back from their vacation in Kerala. Jalebis, Ladoos and Kerala banana chips. I recently joined a course because I wanted to learn something and move on with it. Yes, YouTube is my passion that turned out to be a profession I can say in one way. I started YouTube when I felt that I was unable to go for work because my kids needed me at that time. I didn't want to drop them at any daycare or depend on parents for the sake of it. So that paved the way for the YouTube journey. But I always have a desire to go out and work for what I learned. Just before getting pregnant, I had started looking for jobs but was not sure if I had the confidence in getting back on that track. And now again, I don't think I can go for work. So I felt it was the best time to learn something and continue with it. I shall disclose what I'm learning and all such later because I feel it's too early to reveal all that. But you will be updated on it for sure. Anyways, thank you for watching today's short vlog and I'll see you in my next video. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.